everybody. Um, oh yeah, I, I dyed and cut my hair. I um, haven't washed it since I got it done four days ago. I wish I was debuting it a little bit better, but no time for that. I, I don't know why I didn't vlog when I was getting my hair done. I usually do, but this time I was like, you know what? This moment's for me and I'm gonna take this moment. I just had a nice day getting my hair dyed. And by nice, I mean it took five hours and it's the longest I've ever sat getting my hair done. Um, but I love my stylist and I love, I love what she did with my hair. Uh, so that's my informal welcome. I feel like I need a podcast or something. Sometimes I start my YouTube videos as if I'm on a podcast and I'm like, I, I just need to get to the point. But I like to hash things out before we start, you know? Warm each other up. We haven't seen each other in a while. Maybe you haven't watched my video for four weeks. Maybe you haven't watched my videos for two days or maybe you're brand new, so therefore you need to know about my my hair experience this weekend. So if you are new, my name's Alexis, I'm 25, I live in New York City. Uh, I feel like I haven't filmed a vlog in forever because my channel has just kind of been apartment videos recently. So I want to do a vlog, but what's a little bit tricky is I'm currently renovating my entire apartment. If you've watched my first two parts, I did the kitchen which you can see right here. I have some dishes out and my air fryer out right now. I didn't really clean up before this video and my water was broken for two days. So I have a little bit of backup on dishes, but that's a whole different story. We can talk about that later. And then I also redid my living space, but only half of it. And I'm currently working on part two. So I don't really wanna reveal anything about what's going on in the living space in this vlog, which is gonna be a little tricky because I never leave home. So we're gonna figure that out. I don't want to reveal anything, no spoilers. <sighs> I'm like, am I gonna film this entire vlog in my kitchen? I'm in a weird mood today. I feel just like a little anxious. And by a little, I mean kind of a lot. I woke up, my back and my neck were hurting so bad. I like hurt my neck two months ago, I think. It just hasn't felt quite right for like two months. And I think honestly, I probably hurt it or I've been really stressed out. I carry like all my tension right here. And I never get a massage or do anything to help it. And it was on my monthly goals list to get a massage this month. I've only ever had one in my life. It was like four years ago. I'm getting a massage. I impulsively booked one today. I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous. I am so tense and I like can't do it anymore. Like my body just, it's like in pain to exist right now. So I'm gonna get a massage, see what's up. I thought, why not vlog? Why not take you with me to my very first massage in the city? Then I don't know, then we'll come back. I don't really have anything for tonight. I'm not gonna go to the gym. I don't have any dance classes. I have a YouTube video I'm supposed to post today. Actually, it's my renovating, my living space. So I'm probably gonna finish it by tonight, but I think I'm gonna have to do a Wednesday upload. And my upload days are Tuesdays and Saturdays. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. My upload days are Tuesdays and Fridays, and I don't wanna push this one to Friday. So I think we're just gonna have to upload on a day that's not my upload day. I really hate doing that. I like sticking with my days. I'm just overwhelmed right now. I have a ton of work to do, a little tense. So we're gonna take the night. We're gonna get a massage. Maybe I'll take a bath. That's reckless, that's crazy. Maybe I'll take a bath tonight. I'm just gonna get ready to go and we're gonna, we're gonna go. I can already tell this is gonna be a chatty, chatty vlog. You're gonna get a lot of uh, extra information in this vlog because I'm feeling like talking, I guess, and rambling. Um, but I'm so happy you're here, so. Let's go. Okay, that felt good. That was that was nice. Um I kind of wanted it to be a little like harder. I did tell her it was like my second massage ever, so maybe she was like this girl isn't ready. It felt really nice. It didn't totally fix what's going on in my back. She brought up an interesting point. So my neck has been hurting when I look down like this. I always feel like, oh, my neck is tight. My back is tight. She's like, if you have bad posture, like sitting at your desk all day, like all day long, I'm like hunched over like this. She's like, you might actually be overstretching the muscles, which they're still tight, like a rubber band would be if you stretch it, but they're like weaker and stuff. So she said, maybe I need to work on my posture. I have no self-discipline. I sit horribly. I sit with like my foot up at my desk and I'm like hunched over and I've been doing that for two years and I think it's just it's too much my body's like I can't do it anymore and honestly neither can I now I want to take a bath and that's very out of character because I've only taken maybe three baths in the last eight years and every single time I take one I'm like yeah let's take a bath like this is so exciting I'm so ready and then I finally get in the bath and I'm sitting there and I'm like well this kind of sucks I wish I had like bath bubbles or something oh oh I feel like I have something is it this no, but this is fun. I feel like I'm going insane right now. I know I have some kind of bath bomb thing. Yeah, I never had a bath bomb. What I thought was a bath bomb is socks with aloe in them. 
I don't know where I got that mix up. So maybe we don't take a bath. But I did find these moisturizing eye masks. I've never even done an eye mask before. So maybe I'll rinse off, take a shower, and then eat some leftover Thai food, put these babies on my eyes, and watch some TV. That sounds like a way, a way better plan. Whoa, we're close. In my pajamas that just make me feel so luxurious. So all it says I have to do is just cleanse my face, which I just did. Apply to skin underneath your eyes with a shiny side facing the skin. Leave for 30 minutes. What is this supposed to do? I have bags under my eyes. Someone tell me actually, actually, if you have advice to not have bags under your eyes, like skincare products, stuff you do, please give it to me because I feel like lately the bags under my eyes have just been crazy. And you know, and I know everyone's gonna be like, the best thing you can do is get enough sleep. But give me the second best thing. I need to look in the mirror. I've also been having some like sensitive under eye issues lately. So let's just hope this doesn't affect them. Ha ha ha. How do I look? I look like I broke my nose or something. I feel like people have like silicone looking ones. Okay, also what eye masks do you recommend? Cause I just have these K Bella ones that I think I got as a gift. I'm asking for all the eye recommendations right now. All right, I made, I heated up some dinner. 30 minutes is up. I'm really scared I'm gonna have like a reaction or something, but I'm taking them off. Remember when the plan was for me to eat dinner with these on? Now what? Like, I don't know what, what's the point of these? I guess that was kind of nice. Okay, I'm like, how do I film this so you don't see how my room is different? It's very orange this way, but it's fine. I have a red curry with tofu, my classic, but then I also have another bowl with pad C with chicken, which I just learned that I like and chive dumplings. I don't know why I have so much food, but today's like my relaxation treat myself day. So that's what I'm doing. Well, I'm gonna finish editing this video, watch some TV and eat. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday. I don't even think I told you yesterday was Tuesday though. So I guess that really doesn't matter. So since it's Wednesday, I have work and I'm just getting ready for the day right now. There's really nothing, nothing too interesting going on, but I'm gonna do my skincare routine, so. In case you're curious, I've been washing my face with this Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach and Vitamins. I think I like it. I mean, I have no issues with it. I just got like a trial size to try it, but I've been using it for a few months. And then recently, I've been using a lot of Ole Henriksen. Um, they have like a vitamin C line, which I've really been liking. My CeraVe eye cream, which I didn't use for a while. I like got a weird rash under my eye in like February. I don't know if you remember that. And it kind of didn't go away till April. It was like a lot of dry skin. I used a product with tretinoin in it, which is a fine product to use, but my skin just didn't react well to it. So my eyes were all messed up. So I, in this, I can remember it started burning. So I just stopped using eye cream for a little bit. And then the other day I was like, oh my God, the bags under my eyes are awful, which we already discussed this yesterday. But I need to start using the skin because now my eyes are fine. God, that looks awful. Okay, in my defense though, I haven't gotten to the reorganizing series of my bathroom. I've only done my kitchen and then part of my living room. So the bathroom is a, its whole own thing and it's gotten a little bit out of control. Now I'm ready for the day. Oh, my hair kind of looks, kind of looks nice in the back. I'm gonna do some dishes, pour my coffee. I have iced coffee in the fridge and I am going to start working. What's unfortunate is that I don't really want to show any clips of me working because I moved my desk and I don't want you guys to know where it is yet. I want breakfast. And I don't, oh, I don't think I even have any, any breakfast food. All right, I gotta figure some stuff out. Okay, um, I haven't talked to you all morning. I spent the whole morning just working. I was on meetings. I uploaded my YouTube video. That's a day late, but all good. We got it up. All I ate for breakfast was a scoop of peanut butter which is awful, don't do that. I just had no food and I didn't have time to go get anything. So now I'm gonna make lunch, it's like noon, um, and I'm gonna have a protein smoothie and some carrots and hummus, maybe some chips. Lunchtime. <sighs> I don't wanna work. I have like an hour left, not even, 45 minutes. Um, oh. Is my hair like kooky crazy right now? I have not left my apartment today. 
Um, I didn't go anywhere this morning. I kind of slept in and just started working. So I think that's why I'm feeling a little stir crazy right now. But I am going to finish up working. Then I'm going to reply to some emails for my YouTube. And then I'm going to go to the gym. And then I'm going to go to a tap class. I need another night where I just kind of sit and get work done. But what's really frustrating is that at night, like when it's dark out and everything and it's and work is over, like last night, for example, I know I got the massage and I was trying to like relax and I didn't really do anything. I didn't get anything productive done because I just wanted to sit and watch TV and eat dinner. And I don't think that's something that I should not want to do because like I worked all day. So I was tired. I get so frustrated with myself because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to edit this video and I have to reply to all these emails and I need to clean my room and I need to move this around and I need to go to the store and pick this up. And like, I think of all these things I need to do, but I'm confined to my apartment all day working. And then I like beat myself up after work when I don't want to do all these things because I'm tired. It's kind of like a weird cycle. I usually get myself out and I, you know, I went to a dance class on Monday and then Tuesday I got the massage yesterday, but then I also edited my video like after I relaxed and watched TV. Tonight I'm going to a dance class and I'm going to the gym. Like I'm doing stuff, but I think a lot of my problems would be solved if I had a lot more daytime to do things that I want to do because I, I am way more productive when it is the day. Yeah, I'm going to keep working and... Then I guess get ready to go to the gym. I've been kind of struggling with the gym lately. I don't really have a workout plan. I did personal training for like four months. It was very expensive. I do miss having like a routine to do in the gym. Then I signed up for ATU Mobile again, which I did a year ago, but it just wasn't the same. It didn't motivate me the same. So I've been taking a lot of classes at my gym. I am just a stream of consciousness right now. I bought a bag of goldfish the other day. I haven't bought goldfish in like, two years. I don't know. Why do I feel like I'm starting like a new era of my channel? Like this video feels different. I don't know if it's because like my hair is really short. So it just feels like a new era. Like I cut my hair off. I have no idea. It feels good. Like it feels like it's gonna be a good change to my channel, but I don't know. My energy feels different. You know, I forgot to vlog all evening, um, but I'm with my friend Emily. She's a little upset that everyone is commenting about Jonah in my last video, but no one's mentioning her. I'm like, we love Alexis's friend Emily. Like, where is that? We went to tap class and then we went to Trader Joe's. I'll update you when I go. I'm back. Sorry guys, I really forgot to vlog. Can you like see what's going on in my room this way? Oh, it all looks the same this way, okay. I, I'm really trying, no spoilers. I'm gonna start boiling a pot of water. It's nine and I'm so hungry. We literally went to Trader Joe's like right before they close. And we can do a little grocery haul. But I was like, oh, let me just run in and grab like one breakfast thing. No, I grabbed like $30 worth of stuff and 17 breakfast options. You'll see, you'll see. So I got yogurts, which this is not exclusive to breakfast. Actually, I have a lot of stuff to clean out of my fridge. I'm gonna clean out my fridge first and then we'll we'll do our haul. But I'm not gonna show you me cleaning out my fridge because you don't, you don't need to see that right now. <laughs> Made some room. Trader Joe's haul. I wasn't really planning on going to Trader Joe's, so that's why I didn't bring my own bags. Spinach. Two sweet potatoes, some bananas, oat milk creamer, but now I have like four. I didn't realize I had two extra and one open. So now I literally have four, but it's the best creamer ever. I love it so much. And it's shocking I haven't gotten sick of it yet because I've been drinking it for like four or five months. However long it's been out. A bell pepper. This is kind of out of character, oatmeal. I hate breakfast, right? But I got so many breakfast foods. I haven't had oatmeal in Forever. I can smell it. It smells kind of good. I also got this egg witch. So it's a breadless breakfast sandwich. Turkey sausage, cheese, nestled between two egg patties. That sounded really good to me for some reason. Then I got my granola bars that I always like to have around. I got a new maple oat milk to make my lattes with. I got another boba kit because I only have one left. I got a jar of pasta sauce because I'm making pasta right now. I can't tell if I want pasta sauce or not. And I got more chicken sausage, which I'm gonna have for dinner. Really hard for me to go into Trader Joe's and not eat everything in sight, so. Oh yeah, I took a shower. We're really seeing how many days I can go without washing my hair. Uh, but today was not the day. I just took a really quick shower. I'm so hungry. I think I'm just gonna hang out. Good morning. 
It's Thursday morning. I'm all ready for the day. Uh, I love this aesthetic toilet paper and paper towels above me. Um, I'm gonna be redecorating that, but right now that's how it is, so. Sorry about it. So I got ready for the day. I was seeing if I could still slick back my hair since it's so short now, and I can. I really needed to wash my hair, but I'm taking a few workout classes today, so I was like, I'll just do it at the end of the day. So it's the morning, and I'm gonna make some breakfast and then work for a little bit. Uh, on my lunch break, I'm going to like a 30 minute little ab class. After work, I'm going to a bar class. Um, I don't know, today's just like a workout class kind of day. I'm feeling it. I like recently have been trying to get back into like going to the gym and working out. Did I already talk about this with you? I can't remember. I don't know how I'm gonna choose breakfast because I bought like 15 breakfast options last night, but let's go to the kitchen and figure out what I'm gonna eat. I'm feeling like kind of clean this morning. I can't explain it. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm wearing a color. I like never really wear colored tops or bras because I'm always super scared I'm gonna get really sweaty. And by scared, I mean I know I'm gonna get really sweaty. Because it's like one thing, like whatever, you get sweaty in a workout class or a dance class and you're like sweating through your shirt, whatever. My issue is I sweat through the thing before I even get there. I could talk for hours about my sweat, how it embarrassed me as a child, how it embarrasses me as an adult, but I'm not getting into that this morning. It's too early. <sighs> what do I make for breakfast? We have so many options here. We have so many options. I could make that egg witch thing, but I also can make some oatmeal. Okay, I didn't realize there were only two sandwiches and that egg witch thing. So if I'm like on the fence, I feel like I shouldn't do that today. So I'm gonna have oatmeal. All right, now I changed my mind. Now I want the egg witch, so let's try it. Let's do a little taste test on the vlog. I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. I gotta let you know if it's good. Everyone knows what oatmeal tastes like. Okay, so it says I can microwave it or I can toaster oven it. Should I air fry? Oh, wow. So fancy. Okay, that was a lot. I started air frying it, but then I was like, maybe I shouldn't be air frying it, so I put it back in the microwave. The instructions are for like a 1200 watt microwave or whatever. I think I have like half of that. So it's taking forever to heat up, and then it said internal temperature of 165. So then I'm out here with a food thermometer trying to test it. I know the sausage is probably cooked through already, but I, I get nervous about that stuff. So whatever, it's cooked now. I did burn my finger with cheese, but bon appetit. This egg witch is decent. It's kind of giving like McDonald's breakfast vibes, which I don't hate, but now I feel like my stomach hurts a little bit. So this might be like not a regular breakfast occasion. I am really feeling the clean girl vibes today. My slicked back hair, my workout outfit. I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling it. So I thought we would take it one step further and continue this with a little unboxing. I did a little collaboration with the brand Linear and they sent me some of their jewelry to unbox. So here it is. It's gonna focus, Linear. It's a female founded brand. They sell sustainable jewelry. What else could you ask for? I was super drawn to this brand when they reached out to me because they really focus on sustainability. They use recycled materials and they have luxury standards, but fair prices. And I think the jewelry that I ordered is really going to add to my clean girl vibes today. I really need like a box cutter. So I got two things. It's like in the cutest little pink sleeve. So this is the tennis bracelet. I am very excited for this. I have super small wrists, right? Based on the measurements, it looks like this is finally gonna fit me. I literally don't own any bracelets and this tennis bracelet just, I need to like hide my face. Look how pretty that is. Let's see if I can get this on myself. Like, are you kidding? This is the perfect fit. I swear I've never had a bracelet fit me in my life. This is awesome. It is on the tightest setting, but it fits. I'm so happy. Look how pretty that is. And then the second thing that I got is this little ring. I love rings and I feel like I need new ones. I really only own like super cheap rings that are between like one and five dollars. I've never owned like a nice ring. And this one is like a multicolor. I'm gonna hide my face again. If you can see, this one's like a multicolor. Oh my gosh, why is my hand so shaky? Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a multicolored ring. This is super exciting because I feel like I finally am starting to own jewelry that will last. I've been super into jewelry in the last two years, but I feel like I've never really invested in nice jewelry. So I'm super excited to have these. Their gold pieces are a base of sterling silver, and then they're plated in a really thick layer of 22 karat gold. This layer is about five times thicker than regular gold plated jewelry and about a hundred times thicker than flash plated jewelry. So that means these are gonna last. I feel like you, I can wear them with anything. Like right now with like my athleisure outfit, 
so cute. But if I'm going out to dinner with my friends, I dress up a little bit, both of these can stay on. So if you have that shopping bug like I do right now and you're in the market for some jewelry and you want it to be sustainable and affordable, I would highly recommend Linear. Click on my link below if you wanna buy any of these pieces or shop their website. And thank you so much again to Linear for collaborating with me and sending me these pieces. It's my lunch break and I feel kind of matchy right now because like my shoes are blue and orange and I'm wearing this orange bra with my blue top. I'm gonna go take my app class. It's only 30 minutes and then I will be back. That was a good class. I've been struggling a lot with my posture lately and my neck has really been bothering me. Obviously I got that massage. Um, and this app class really focused on posture and like where to be engaged. I really liked it. I don't know why it's so dark in here. It's not that late, like the sun's still out. Now I'm going to my bar class. I'm gonna be honest, that was kind of awful. I hated that. I don't really like to speak badly about like classes and stuff, but that just did not feel good at all on my body. And I've never actually taken a bar class before, so maybe I just didn't really understand what it was. I think because I have like ballet training, it just felt so weird on my body. Like the technique wasn't right and it was like stressing me out. I was like, oh, if we do stuff this way, it's gonna hurt our hips and our feet and I I don't know, I just like felt weird about it. And I don't know if it was just like a bad bar class or if that's how bar is. I don't know. This is like a very niche question, but if you're a dancer who's taken a bar class, have you liked it? Like, do you think it helps your dance training? And now I feel like so unsettled. And I was like, okay, I'll just walk on the treadmill for a little bit after the class. Cause I was like feeling all uncomfortable about that. Every single treadmill at the gym was taken. So no treadmill. So then I was like, you know what? It's nice outside. So I walked like almost a mile outside, but then I was like, well, now I'm hungry. No regrets, glad I tried it, I guess, but I will not be going back. I'd rather just go to a ballet class. I think I'm gonna stretch for a minute. And I said I was gonna wash my hair today, but I really don't want to. Delicious. Ooh, I'm out of focus. So delicious. I made my boba. And now I'm gonna watch some TV and then I'm gonna probably edit this video and get some stuff done on my computer, but. I'm feeling cozy, just took a shower, and now I'm gonna eat, I'm so hungry. All right, well, after procrastinating a little too long, I need to start editing this video. I sat on the couch for a while, watched some TV. I started the show Home Economics. I always see ads for it, but I've never watched it. It seems like Modern Family vibe, and I'm like in my Modern Family obsession right now. I've watched it two times. I just love it, it's a perfect show. I'm going to sign off for this vlog. Thanks for spending time with me the past few days. I feel like I didn't really do much in this vlog, but I feel like we had a lot of good conversations. If you are still watching, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I just recently hit 15,000 and I am so thankful for each and every one of you. I, I don't know, I'm just, I said earlier, I feel like we're in like a new era of my YouTube and I can't explain it, but I think it's gonna be good, so. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.